So how many people in this room went to university, or if you're a student, are planning to go to university? Yeah. Look around. And how many people went into an apprenticeship or trade college? Wow. There's a gap. And we're at a point in society where you face prejudice based on what you want to do after you spent 13 years of your life sitting in a classroom. You can't take a gap here without someone rolling their eyes at you or shaking their head, and just sighing with disdain. And we've, we've got a skills gap. We've had a skills gap since 2011. And that skills gap goes in one area blue collar workers. People who chose an apprenticeship or a skills college over the university. We don't have enough. But why? Why do people rush towards apprenticeships the way they did in the 1900s? And the answer is, it's a social construct. Former US Democratic Governor, Steve Bashir, said, manufacturing is something you settle for when you can't do anything else for a career. In short, manufacturing is for stupid people. But you can't actually expect me to believe that. You can't tell me that someone who knows absolutely everything there is to know about fixing your car. You can't tell me they're stupid. In fact, some of the most highly educated uh, university professionals probably don't know how to fix a car and pay a blue collar worker to do it for them. Now, being going into a blue collar profession does require a lot of effort. It requires you to go into an apprenticeship. But apprenticeships are actually amazing. You get paid to learn. There's no debt. Students who went to university can spend 12 to 30 years paying off the debts they've accumulated over three to four years of study. In an apprenticeship, you've got a job, plus an 87% chance of a job afterwards. I will take that over the what? 26% chance of the university? Sorry. The students who went to university felt they felt similar to they did in high school. You don't learn real, real world skills. University students felt they had a lack of employability and technical skills, while students who went to Apprenticeships felt far more comfortable of finding jobs. If we take logical skills, for example, my uncle, a university trained physicist, once boiled a jug of water underneath a window on a two degree day. Anyone who studies physics knows that that window shattered. And he did. He can tell you exactly why it happened. But he didn't make the connections in his head. Now, I'm not trying to say absolutely don't go to university, it's horrible, don't touch it. Because I want to go to university. I have no way of following the career path that I want to take for an apprenticeship. And a lot of career paths just aren't accessible for apprenticeships, like medicine, for example. But I just want to make it clear that there is a way to become a mechanic without spending three to four years of your life in a classroom on your own, maybe with someone telling you what to do. My granddad did it, and he started his own business. He became a specialist. Yeah. <laughs> and apprenticeships don't really allow for an adjustment period. You thrust straight into the world of work. University has a university experience. You get to know people. You get to make friends for life. But there are also other options. There are so many options. Why are we limiting it to apprenticeships and university? Because there are things like skills college or trade college. My mom goes to a trade, went to a trade college. She's currently undergoing training for a new job. On the job training, I think she's in the simulator at the moment. And on the other hand, you've got things like the military. In a lot of countries, the military will pay for your education because they want a highly educated arms force. Maybe they won't pay you for your time with them, but they'll give you a place to stay and they'll pay for your education, which 
melhorar a aplicação como uma opera. Or you can take it out here. My cousin did. He got a good job in management and then went to university. He's doing great. Really, college isn't the only option. Overall, there are positives and negatives to any decision you make, especially ones that are going to affect your future. But the deciding factor in the world we live in nowadays, money. How much can you earn? Well, let's take my family as an example. My dad went to university. My mum went to a straight college. My dad became a teacher. My mum became an air traffic controller. My mum earns three times as much as my dad. A lot of the time, an individual who underwent an apprenticeship, an individual who underwent an apprenticeship, can earn more than someone who went to university. A specialist within a blue collar profession can earn twenty-five thousand pounds more per year than someone who takes psychology, for for example. So really, all I'm trying to say is, look at your options. Don't stick to university because it's what. It's what so and so said you want to do, or other person rolled rolled their eyes at you because you said, you know, I'm thinking about taking a gap year. College isn't the only option, and I think society needs to realise that.